As the world today marks Teachers' Day, those in the noble profession have been enjoined to join hands together and build the education sector in Nigeria to an enviable standard that can compete globally. Our correspondent Uyume Elijah in this report takes a look at the teachers' welfare and the possibility of keeping up with impacting the education sector in Nigeria. Academic professionals all over the world no doubt gain prominence from the four walls of the classrooms. Today, the world celebrates Teachers Day to recognize, evaluate and enhance the status of teachers around the globe. A cross-section of Nigerians says that teachers need to be given the rights they deserve as they are the pillars of nation building. If you are going to put 20 people that are passionate about education, some people don't care about the salaries. That is fine. But you can't evaluate and conclude your result on that. There are some people also that they are passionate about that, but nevertheless, that is what they do for a living. You cannot teach when you don't have passion for it, because it's not easy to like uh, mentor somebody's else's child. So by doing that, you have to be passionate about it. Let them do the normal thing. Teacher, they say they are what in heaven. It's not in heaven. It's here. They are women be like us. Let them do something new for them, for their life. Nigerian teachers have over the years raised an alarm over their poor welfare and salary debt owed them by some state governors. This purpose-driven profession takes so much livelihood out of them to benefit others as they live below the impact they give. If you look at the team for this year's celebration, you will discover, uh, the team is the transformation of education begins with teachers. You will discover that it is only the teachers that can transform education completely because they are the drivers that are driving the vehicle of education all over the nation. And the team could not have come at a better time than now when you discover there is a global turn down, there is an economic turn down globally. And I want to believe teachers can transform education in the, all over the nation, Nigeria inclusive, provided the government is ready to invest in them, provided the government is ready to improve their working condition, provided the government is ready to better their welfare. I want us to note the fact that this transformation we are talking about cannot be done in isolation from the living and working conditions of teachers. Fees are fees where they work, their, their condition of service and everything. Teachers can transform education if they are treated well. Many Nigerians argue that the current budget for education is far below expectation for a country with about 10.5 million out-of-school children, the world's highest number. A data from 2017 shows the downturn trend in education spending in Nigeria. In 2021, the budget allocation was 5.14%, a 0.01% increase from 2020. This year's team is giving more responsibility to teachers as transformative agents, but the reality in the country where the cost of living keeps rising and the take home cannot actually take the teachers home. Much is left to be desired. Uyime Elijah, Plus TV News, Lagos. Well, joining us now via Zoom to discuss Teachers Matters is Dr. Jide Johnson from the Nigerian Institute of Journalism, Lagos, and an educationist, uh, Professor Abiola Awashika. Good evening to you. Good evening. Okay, so you're welcome. Well, the role of teachers cannot be overemphasized in any nation. So, how would you describe their remuneration, particularly in Nigeria? Perhaps you want to compare it to any other uh, scenario that you're privy to, to have information about. Let me start with you, well, uh, Professor Washika. All right, absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, we all know our teachers are doing wonderful things. Uh, we know the condition of our country, and we know that they are sacrificing themselves for our children, and we need to help them. Uh, the federal government wants to try to throw money at it, but really, we don't need to throw money at it. What we need are people who are qualified and able to teach our children, like Finland. Finland puts their best forward to teach. If you don't have a master's degree, uh, they don't even begin to talk to you. And it transformed 
their system by doing that. Unfortunately for us in Nigeria, we have chosen to put our worst forward. We say if you want to teach, you can do with a hundred uh, uh, point score in jam, whereas other professions, you, can, you have to score about 200, 204. This is not good enough. All right. Well, let me just take you up on something you just said. You said uh, one of the errors our government has committed is just throwing money at it. How, how yes. do you mean? Because teachers are not no. well paid in this country. That's uh, one of the problems uh, that the education no. sector is having. Uh, teachers are not well paid, yes, we know. But some of the things that you know, the government is doing right now, for example, they're giving scholarships to people who want to go to colleges of education or educational institutions. Well, that is throwing money at it. But who are you giving the scholarship to? Is it the, the guy who scores 100 points in jam or the guy who scored 250 points in jam? So we cannot uh, just say, all right, so we're going to give you a scholarship, but we need to watch who is in the classroom with our children. All right, let me go to the gentleman. What is your take on teachers' remuneration in Nigeria? Well, what is affecting the teachers is actually affecting every other sector in Nigeria. And which sector can we point out to that is actually remunerated appropriately in Nigeria? However, what we should be looking at is in what way can we improve what we have on the ground? There's no doubt that if you do a comparative analysis, of teachers have been in Nigeria with what obtains in other clients. Uh, you agree with me that teachers have been paid peanuts. Apart from being paid peanuts, the enabling environment is not provided for them for them to try as compared to what we have in the 60s, compared to what you have in the 70s and the early 80s. Um, the, old, the old environment has completely changed. And like Prof pointed out, uh, at that particular point in time, people's teaching has been a passion. The best of the society want to go into teaching. However, the story has changed. The general societal view of who a teacher is. You know, we have this common thing that the rewards of teachers are, are, in, are in heaven. As a result of that, we have made the teaching profession not to be attractive to even the best of the society because the condition does not take care of their business. All right, let's, let's move over to the system, the current system uh, that we have, that we currently operate. Uh, what's your view of that? That's the 6334 system. How do you see that? Is it working? Has it worked? Well, it's, it's because we, we didn't let it work. And that's because uh, we all want tertiary education. We don't want technical education. So the three that's supposed to, uh, the, the three that's supposed to uh, split when they get to JS3 doesn't split anymore. It now goes, you know, everybody now stand in line to go to a university. Whereas there are opportunities in other places to go through the polytechnic, to go through the innovative enterprise institutions, and still, you know, get back to uh, being uh, a wonderful professional in your field. What, do, what would you say corrupted? Uh, we're not letting what, would, it work. what would you say corrupted that structure? Um, why is the implementation not as it should have been? Well, uh, unfortunately, the fact that the government does not pay uh, the same to a graduate uh, of uh, a polytechnic and a graduate of a university causes everyone to think, okay, uh, a college of education is out because you're not going to get as much as a graduate. Uh, polytechnics are out. IEIs are out because they're not going to get as much as a graduate. So when you, when you have a, 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 a HND starting at level seven, 
and a, a, a BSC starting at level eight, you already have caused that system not to work. Okay, Dr. Jide uh, Johnson, let me come to you with the next question. How well, uh, on, 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 that que on that question, I think that the problem starts with us not paying attention to the first level in the secondary school, determination on the first level. For those that want to acquire technical education, those that will provide um, the labor force for various, um, like bricklayers, technicians, electricians, and all of this. Government has not made any investment in technical schools. What investment have we made? Now, if, if you are involved in the building sector or in the construction sector, you will see that majority of this labor have been imported from the Republic of Benin, from Togo. If you are looking for the best brick class, the best tilers, the best, they are coming from Benin, Republic of Togo, Ivory Coast, and the rest of it. Because they have the support system. So in the 6334 educational model that was introduced under Babangida by Professor Papua um, Tenor, the Minister of Education, yes. the critical component after your three years in secondary school, which is technical education, leave service was paid to it. It was rendered, was rendered useless. As a result of that, you have this that system in its entirety. To add to what Prova said, we have also laid emphasis on certification. Tertiary education certification, while downplaying this technical education. And I tell you this, majority of Nigerians are traveling out of Nigeria. In 1983-84, we have Andrew Don't Check Out. Now we have JAPA. A lot of Nigerians yeah. that are checking out now, who are JAPA in, are doing these technical jobs All right. okay. that uh, they could not do yet. They have to go and learn it abroad. Well, time, time, time will not allow us to explore further, but let me ask you the last question. Um, again, I'll go back to the prof, and then you wrap it up, uh, Dr. Johnson. How better can the government encourage teachers besides financial motivation? Well, well first of all, uh, don't tell them their reward is in heaven. It's here. So motivate them uh, with money. Motivate them with uh, training, um, motivate them with promotion, and you know, make them happy. Because if your teachers are happy, the children will be happy. Okay, so Dr. Johnson, your take on that? Man, there should be a comprehensive national. There should be a comprehensive national housing policy for teachers. It's important. One, two. There should be a comprehensive national policy on healthcare for teachers. Three, you should have a better working condition. Not you need to do is go to the classrooms to look at the classrooms and the staff room of the teachers. Does he do, 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 does he measure up to standard you want to give to people that will impact future future leaders? And lastly, the retirement benefit. Teachers don't have to go through hell to collect their retirement benefit. Well, if we so provide much. all of this, you don't need to throw money like four point out. I assure you that we have better teachers in the system. Thank well, you very much for having me. Thank you so much. I and do hope that at the end, the end of the Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I do hope that at the end of the day, all this judge would amount to something because I know that uh, government should be working towards ensuring that by the next year, when we celebrate the teachers, their lot would have improved and the education sector in the country would have also been transformed. Thank you so much, Dr. Jide Johnson, uh, for your time and Professor Abiola Washika. Thank you so much for your insight on this very germane issue. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.